A Brainerd High School football player is living up to his school's warrior nickname. On Friday, Connor Erickson was hurt while playing a game in Moorhead. He's now at a Fargo hospital being treated for a serious head injury. Jonah Kaplan explains what happened and what's next. Fourth quarter, about four and a half minutes to go. Warrior senior and captain Connor Erickson is number 21, lining up on the defensive line. The play resulting in an incompletion, but Erickson then staring at the sideline and walks off. A few minutes later, he's on the ground, helmet off by his coaches. Then, as the referees all glance to the sideline, the announcers offering a more sobering play-by-play. -play. I saw the ambulance arriving. Connor Erickson's uncle Jared watching it live. Thankfully, that coach was there because he called 911 right away when uh, Connor basically uh, went out when he when he sat down and was leaning up against the coach's leg. The 17-year-old Erickson tonight heavily sedated and recovering from emergency brain surgery at a hospital in Fargo. According to his family, he sustained the apparent head injury sometime during that game against Moorhead. It's the second severe football injury to a Minnesotan high school football player in as many weeks after freshman Ethan Glenn in Bloomington. Both of these injuries, of course, tragic, and they're each devastating in their own way. For Ethan, it was a spinal cord injury. The threat, he might be paralyzed from the shoulders down. But for Connor, it's a head of brain injury. He can actually move his extremities. That was good news from the hospital. What's unknown, though, is his cognitive function. At this point, there isn't a lot that's known. You know, part of the skull was removed for the, to relieve the pressure from the, the bleeding in there. What is known, the community rallying around not just a player, but more importantly, a good person. He's a true leader and um, a kid everybody can, can get behind. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. Brainerd Public Schools issued a statement saying, in part, we are a small, close-knit community, and when one of us hurts, we all hurt. Our warrior community will be focusing our efforts on supporting Connor and his family.